Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to do my review on the Speed Queen model number AFNE9BSP113TW01. This applies to basically all front load Speed Queen washers. They made a few different variations of them. Uh, one is the electronic control uh, where the front, the control panels in the front. Another where the electronic control panel was in the rear, kind of more like a traditional uh, machine. They also made a rear control with a mechanical knob, and they made one other one that was kind of a limited run where they made the machine all stainless steel, uh, including the outside cabinet. So, uh, but mechanically speaking, they're all the same machine, and so my review should apply to all of them as far as performance goes. The Speed Queen has nine preset cycles and one that you can uh, program yourself, so a total of 10 cycles. It weighs about 275 pounds and it is equipped with a 0.9 horsepower variable speed induction motor. It has a max spin speed of about 1200 RPMs but uh, Speed Queen likes to go by G-Force. It pulls an amazing 440 Gs of extraction power. Now, a lot of manufacturers don't um, use the term Gs, but let me tell you, in my experience with these machines, I mean, you basically have to get a spatula and scrape your clothes off the side of the tub. I mean, it really spins them dry. So spinning is definitely not an issue with this machine. It also has uh, four soap compartments. One is for pre-wash, main wash, bleach, and fabric softener. This machine does come with Speed Queen's legendary five-year in-home parts and labor warranty, which means if anything goes wrong with this machine, they will come out and fix it free of charge. Everything about this washer is super heavy duty, including the coilover suspension, Drain pump is super easy to access and lasts basically forever. Uh, if you ever get a clog, it's super easy to clean out. You just simply remove the bottom cover and clean out your clog. This is the motor control unit, AKA the brains of the machine. A uh, very robust design. Speed Queen makes the best electronics. I mean, their th stuff really lasts forever. They did have a little bit of a spat uh, about a year ago or so where some of their MCUs were failing a little bit premature. I believe that was a manufacturing issue and not really the entire fault of Speed Queen. But they quickly got that resolved and uh, most people have been chugging along uh, with no repairs whatsoever. Towards the back there, you'll see the uh, 0.9 horsepower. It's almost a full horsepower electric induction motor. Uh, it is variable speed, and it has no problem muscling that tub around. Moving along, you'll see this huge outer balance ring, and Speed Queen actually did something pretty clever with their machine. Uh, aside from the external front weights that they have, they actually have a balance ring inside the spin basket that is full of ball bearings. And this is a similar technology that was used in truck tires and it really helps to smooth things out on this uh, particular machine. With all this in place, the Speed Queen still manages to go off balance, but it's a pretty rare event. I personally had this machine in my house for, it had to have been well over six months, and I think it might have went off balance on me maybe once or twice. I simply restarted the cycle on spin, and everything worked itself out. This washer has a heavy duty door hinge made of stainless steel, although the door actually feels kind of flimsy. It's very strange, uh, but it doesn't break. It's very well built. This washer has a 3.42 cubic foot capacity tub. The inner spin basket is actual stainless steel and is of good quality. The door bellow is also very heavy duty. Uh, in my many years of servicing Speed Queens, I've never or no, I'm sorry, I've changed one door boot uh, and it was on a 20 year old stack unit that was used uh, seven to 10 loads a day, seven days a week. So it, it saw a lot of use. I also wanted to point out the multiple drain ports 
at the bottom of the bellow, and this prevents gook from building up and causing a mess with the door gasket. It's also worth pointing out that the uh, baffles are actually a solid piece of plastic. There's no cavity underneath it like some washers do. And Speed Queen's idea behind this was that if you have a hollow cavity underneath your wash baffle, that's the perfect spot to trap moisture and ultimately grow mold. This is a no-nonsense washer that gets right to business the moment you press the start button. There's no sensing or spurts of water or any type of messing about. It just starts filling and gets the business. That's why you're able to wash a load in as little as 26 minutes if you use the quick cycle. Huge loads are not a problem with this machine. Just stuff it all in there and let it rip. That's what this machine is actually designed for. When you go to the laundromat, you're not looking to wash one item at a time. You're looking to wash the maximum amount of clothes that you could possibly fit in this washer. And that's where this machine really shines. It actually doesn't do so well if you put just a couple of separate items in here. This machine really comes to life when you put plenty of clothing in it. I reran all my tests on this machine, not because I wanted to find out how it did, I've already owned this machine for quite some time, and it does pretty well. It's not the best performing washer out there, but it is hands down, far and away, the most reliable front loader that you could possibly purchase. And not if, but when this machine ultimately breaks. This machine is not a throwaway machine. If you want to break the cycle of planned obsolescence, this is the washer for you. You can literally fix this machine until the day you die. And that's what I really love about this machine. You could put anything into it at any time, anywhere, any place, and it's going to come out clean. Now granted, this is not the best performing machine out there. I think that there are some machines that actually have a little bit better wash action than this machine. But this machine will just run and run and run, and it'll get your clothes certainly to a respectable level of clean. Now let's talk about the drawbacks. The first and most important is that this machine has been discontinued. You have until the end of March 2018 to find and purchase this Speed Queen front load washer for yourself. They stopped production at the end of March and whatever's out there is all that's left. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to discontinue this front load washer. I mean, I know. This is a really expensive machine, and that leads me to problem number two with this machine. It retails for $1,500. Holy cow, that's a really expensive washer. But you know what? You get what you pay for. This machine is worth every bit of their asking price because this machine will last and last and last, and then when it breaks, it's totally easy to fix. You could probably fix it yourself. There's no common issues with this machine. In fact, there's not really any issues with this machine. I think my total lifetime repair for Speed Queen front load washers was a rear trunnion on a washer that was well over 15 years old. I replaced the door gasket once and yep that's about it. So this machine isn't going to be a problematic washer for you. I was really sad when I pulled this washer out of my house but at the time I was testing all of my sh machines at my house so I had to pull it out. My wife was really sad when it left. Now we have an LG washer which is just as good in fact, I might even argue that the performance is a little bit better, but I know that that washer is not going to last nearly as long as this machine. You're not buying this machine because it's the best performing machine or because it sings a song after it's done or anything like that. You're buying this machine because you're tired of replacing your washers every three to four years. This washer that when it does have a breakdown, you'll totally be able to fix it yourself and parts will be available. They've been making this washer for a long time and they're probably going to have parts for this washer for the next 20 or 30 years. So if you're looking to 
save the environment a little bit and buy a washer that's actually going to last a really long time and that when it breaks, parts aren't going to be discontinued for it, you should really look at this machine. But look at it fast because there's not that many of them out there. And once they're gone, they're gone. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below. I'll try and answer them as best I can with my time. Uh, I'll also be publishing pretty soon my ketchup stain removal test. And uh, that should be coming up in the next uh, video or two. Thanks again.